actually at that same bar I did pick up two boys and I had like a devil's three way. Whoa. What's and that? and it's like when it's two guys instead of two girls, because it's like the gay way. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, they oh, were they hooking up with each, each other? other? They they didn't. They wanted to. But I wrote about it in this book. I wrote an anthology, um, a chapter of an of a erotica book. Okay. And so it's based on the story of me picking up two guys at that same bar because like I was like, that's what I was going out to do. To pick up two bi boys who wanted to It just happened that way. Oh okay. I was like, I wanted one of them. I was like, yeah. And then the other one started flirting with me, and then they were both like they were down. let's go home. And I was like, if I die, I die. Oh my god! But you, you knew that they were going to be down to hook up with each other. Because, no, I didn't. Oh, no, no, that I was didn't. a surprise. No, that, I was like, oh, they wanted gonna... you so bad that they didn't care that they would have to go home, both of you, with yeah. them. But then, why didn't they actually hook up if it seemed like they, they wanted were too to? Too good of friends. They both. They oh. both individually expose themselves as curious oh, wow. and i was like you should go for it i was really high <laughs> they should have gone for it i i, I, I agree yeah. i was like on drugs wow. but i was like you should go for it you guys are like really cute together Listen, and i'm I... like ah <laughs> <laughs> i'm like this is so adorable look at you boys i'm totally <laughs> cool with gay people but the idea of you sort of coercing male best buds into fucking each other seems kind of sinister Why to me. Why men do it to women not. all the time? They're men, like, who cares exactly. if you guys are best friends? Just make out with each other. It's 2021. What's the big deal? That's different. You're already touching dicks in my mouth anyway. Really? You had the, automatically yeah. both dicks in there. Yeah. I mean, the, look at how Christ. big her mouth is. She can only, you know, it's like they're going to touch. So, <laughs> stretches okay. it out. No, there's room. There's room. Do that again. We know. Uh, big screenshot. Oh, yeah. Wow. Uh, I could probably fit three in there. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna bring it on. And dick and balls. <laughs> so anyway, long story short is sometimes yes, <laughs> you go for it, and then you accept that maybe you'll die because you cannot be too sure about men. Do you have any weapons but at your house? I have my AVN Hall of Fame trophy. <laughs> <laughs> Bam! It's, like, it's heavier if than they it tried to tackle. that was coming out of your mouth, I'm like AVN. What kind of gun is that? Oh, oh, um, oh! It's no, a trophy. Okay, my trophy. I mean, right. they're pretty dangerous. I feel like if you try know. to use them as a weapon. Do you like the Not if they have a other gun. Things. If they have a gun, then the the award kind of goes out the window as no, a weapon. No, I don't. I I don't. I'm afraid of guns. That's reasonable. I'm afraid of guns too. Like for no reason. For like no reason. Here's a challenge. Can you take me through like the first, okay. I don't know, 25, 30, 35 years of your career in like 30 <laughs> seconds? You mean your part of life, you <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Sum it up a little bit here. Okay. Tell us about the early days, the, the middle early part. early days. Okay. I was really popular on MySpace. Oh, okay. That's, if that tells you how old I am. I had a lot of friends on MySpace. I was uh, I was a stripper at bikini bars. Where? Um, I started in Orlando, which is where I'm from. Okay. I worked at the Dollhouse and uh, Cabaret International. It was the fancy strip club that was like, you don't get all the way naked. I don't know why I thought like, it's classier because you keep your bottoms on. And you're like still like, I don't know, whatever. Right. And then I moved to California. I worked at a bikini bar in Pasadena called Pleasures, which was a converted IHOP. Okay. Is it still there? Um, I don't think so. But it like had like that the like roof that was like that oh, wow. everything and i was like but no ihop employees ever showed up and just started no. performing their i mean job. there was like the oh. the back room was like sticky like as if there was probably syrup oh my God. Every, on everything but i doubt that's what it was all right guys so the no jumper clips channel right here make sure you subscribe we just blasted past thirty thousand subscribers our next goal is fifty thousand subscribers please help us out and hit that red button thank you